Welcome to Old Grump's Garage. Hey y'all, Alan, Old Grump's Garage. I think it's time we put the cab of Lazarus on the S10 frame and check out these new ADS-10 cab mounts. Let's get to it. Alrighty, so the cab is now sitting on the cab mounts. Lesson learned, if you're gonna pick it up with straps to the doors where you can't open the doors, put the bolts through the holes in the floor of the cab for the cab mounts so that when you set it down, you can actually put nuts on them. Um, <clears throat> working by myself, what I did is I got one front corner and got a nut started, then did my shift and got the other front corner and a nut started then went around on the back and uh, put a jack under the corner and just slightly lifted it up enough to get my bolt in the back and the two hockey pucks and got that all settled. Uh, had When I put it down the first time, one of the hockey pucks fell off and I couldn't find it. It had rolled completely out here all the way out in the front of the shop under a toolbox. But uh, yeah, there's uh, with the mounts, there's a uh, one of the little um, hockey pucks on the top of the frame mount. Um, there's a hockey puck on top of the cab mount on the frame, one on each one on the front, and there's two stacked on the back to make your cab level. <clears throat> Haven't torqued this down and put the lock nuts on and everything uh, yet. Uh, we've got to get the front end set on it, and then um, the bed when it arrives assembled and set on it and then move everything around to get the alignment like we want it to where the wheels look center. Then we'll come back and torque everything down. But there's the cab so far, so <clears throat> finally making progress. We interrupt this program to ask you to take a moment and like the video and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It'll really help us maintain the channel and continue to provide you content that you find interesting to help you along your way as you're restoring square bodies and other old Chevrolet pickup trucks. And it continues to grow our community. Thank you for your support. And we now return you to your regularly scheduled program. All righty. If y'all watched the episode where we went to Oklahoma and bought this truck, You'll remember it did not have a pickup bed on it because it was a tow truck. We have had a casual commenter that said it looked like Tow Mater from the Pixar movie. Uh, but uh, anyhow, what we did was we scoured the internet and we bought all the new pieces to assemble a pickup bed for this truck. So we're going to be assembling pieces. This is the front bed rail and the header panel. First two bolts went in real easy, and now that I've turned the camera on, I'm gonna flounder here. That seems about right, don't huh? it? I know, I know. You don't believe it get together easy unless there's video proof.
So there's just a series of carriage bolts that go across here. I bolt the header panel to that cross sill. There's a lot of folks offering sheet metal and everywhere you go, the price is different and then the freight's involved and all that kind of thing. I will include a link to where I bought this kit from. The gentleman that runs the company has been nice enough to assemble a, a package that's all the individual pieces you need. And I did a great job of getting it packaged, coordinating truck freight and all that kind of thing. Truck freight's always interesting. Um, I'm not sure what gets in the minds of trucking companies. If you tell them they're delivering to a residential address and you don't have a loading dock and that straight truck tailgate service is preferred I'm not sure why that doesn't get through to them this this is the second thing that's come truck freight and they brought a semi into our residential area they can't get it backed into the driveway down to the shop so they unload it in the end of the driveway and then i end up carting all the parts piece by piece down the driveway by myself it sure would be nice if once they really heed what I'm asking and deliver it in a straight truck so we can get it back up to the shop and make it loading easier. What are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? The header panel. We'll sit. You there. And our fine friends see us there's the bolts for that. Ain't nothing lightweight about that, folks.
Alrighty. Let's see if we can put the back together and that'll make all that straighten out. At least that's my theory. Kind of sticking to it. All righty. Sorry for the noise, folks. It's hot. I got to turn on a fan. My apologies.
so we've cut and fit the core support, leveled it, got it sitting on the snout. I've got one fender on. Basically, the process I've been going through is you trim the inner fender and try to fit it, and you take it off and you trim it some more, and you try to fit it, and you trim it some more, and you try to fit it, and you finally get it to where it will bolt on the truck. Then you take it off, bolt it inside the fender, and then mount the fender on the truck. It takes a little while. You just need to have patience and keep working it through. There's a brace inside this fender that bolts here and here, and uh, that takes a while to get it lined up in the fender, inner fender, and then bolted into the core support. But once you get everything going, it comes out pretty good. Um, got a little more material out back here on this end than really needed to, but uh, I'm not gonna bother with trying to put it back at this point. All in all, I don't think it looks too terribly bad. Uh, cleaned up the inner fenders, cleaned up the inside of the fenders, and uh, everything that's uh, original metal that was kind of rusty, I have primed with uh, paint over rust, uh, off-brand paint over rust primer, uh, rust preventive rust treatment, rust encapsulator. Um, gives you a matte black finish that uh, should encapsulate the rust. And then later we can come back and shoot the inside of the engine compartment with either a gloss black like we did the frame or possibly paint it the same color as the rest of the truck. Decisions to be made later. All right, uh, I'm going to turn on some fans and see how long the battery lasts in this camera. And we'll be back with you. So the body is on now. Front fenders are on, rear fenders are on, cabs on. Hood's just sitting there for the time being. We've got to uh, buy some bumpers because there was a hodgepodge uh, bumper on the front, if you remember, with Trucker Girls. And that got sold and it's gone. Uh, there was not a rear bumper because it had a uh, record bed on it. So we got to get that. Got to pick up the uh, step side pickup running boards because we've got the short uh, cab chassis running boards and then we can take care of all that and uh, mount a tailgate figure out what we're going to do to a four floor and a bunch of stuff like that but the uh, Panza AD S10 kit has made this an exceptional opportunity and uh, made it rather easy to get the uh, the 50 mounted on the S10 frame. 